look at this we're just getting a spare hive out because we need to go through our old bees and give them a good clean up which you'll be seeing us do presently but that one is full of moth wax moth that is anybody that knows about bees will know about that and we thought we were clear of that and got them all covered up yet the darn things have been in there somehow what a mess I think the actual frames yeah no it's rubbish i have to redo those oh that one will be okay there you go not a disaster, just another nuisance. We're just going to start cleaning up some beehives. We've cleaned out the wax moth. I showed you that on just now. All this stuff, Sarah's done a good job of trying to get rid of some of that, but we've got some clean ones to go. And after we've done that, we burn them. Not the wax moths. With a blowtorch, just go around the doors of the hives. We're going to take all the hives to pieces, clean them out. Because we haven't got enough hives to change them all the first time over, we're going to do them one at a time and clean them as we go. That's a nice tidy job, kills anything that shouldn't be in there. Just like that. Mounted that up a tree. And that's a fresh one newly put in. We made these frames up, but you can buy them. And they've got a piece of stainless steel wire runs around them, and you just put a little electric current on them or something warm to melt it into the wax. Use a battery charger or a battery, it's quite good. And that's a nice fresh one and they build on that and they build it out and then these are the bigger frames that go into the main hive where the queen will lay her eggs in the cells and hatch them and the ones to the side they'll store a little bit of honey in them and then we'll show you later we're going to put what we call a super on the top oh, sarah's got one right there oh, i was just going to show you the drawn out frame wasn't it? okay that's the smaller one that's the ones they put the honey in we put a queen excluder over the top, which is just a grill because the queens are a little bit bigger than the ordinary honeybees. So they can't get through and lay eggs in the top. So that all you running out of hands. Thank you. <laughs> That's a queen excluder. Um, but you, was, you see how it all goes together. When we spin to get the honey, harvest the honey, it's with these that we harvest. So there's no eggs in there or grubs or anything like that. And it really is just a surplus. We don't take it all from them. We don't rob them. It's a surplus they put in the boxes because all the time you keep stacking empties there, they'll fill them up. So, okay, let's go and do some work. wondering and apparently it makes them all sleepy and happy and stops them stinging you. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, girls. Come on you don't need that. Oh, then. All of you. Take this off. This is an eek, so that you can feed them with sugar and put this on and there's room in there for everybody. Uh, I don't know who's said they've got to be called eeks, but that's what they're called. Look at the orange. Oh, 
orange from the dandelion. Yeah. Got a little bit of honey on the end of there, but that's more or less a clean one. Put that back in as it is. I'd put it the next one along so they get a chance to build this side out. Okay. Just woke up for the fact of being robbed, now, you? Oh, that's heavy. Lots of honey. Lots of honey, honey. Oh, 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 Yogi! What you all been up to in here now? Uh -huh, that could be brood. Could be a little bit covered, of brood. A little bit of covered brood and there's lots of uh, pollen. pollen. I don't know if you can see that in there. It's the, the bees here that's covered. Is where they lay their eggs and then they, they cover them. Put them in back the same way round as we took it out of the other one. Loads of bees in there, is it? No, but it's enough for the summer. It's been cold and wet. And I've got some brood going, so there's obviously a clean. Oh. And we've got plenty of food. You'll have to get out foraging. You lot. There's loads of flowers just coming out now and lots of blossom on the trees. This hive will be just ready for it all. somewhere. And you can see them going in there with all their pollen and I'm brave to be there without a glove on just to show you these little bees. If they sting me you're an S because one's covered in orange. That's all the pollen from the dandelions. There's loads of dandelions out in the fields at the moment. That's the reason just around here. You can see just here and if you look out in the field stacks of them. Give them a clean up, give them a scrape off with the hive thing. Kills all the bugs, mites. Just clean, gives it a good clean up. And then we move on to the next hive and so on down the line. If we was really professional, we'd have five or six spare empty hives, clean them all up, and then just change them over in one go. But we just do it a bit at a time. Stick things together. A little bit of honey on there. They're busy scoffing that honey because when you smoke them, they think there's a forest fire and they rush in there and eat all their honey to get their stocks up and going. Right. And they get all fat and lazy, it makes them sleepy, and the plan is they don't sting you. But watch this space, huh? especially Jeff's. Thanks for that. Yeah. It's usually over there, it's the worst place ever to get stung. Well, I don't know other places, of course. It's always somewhere worse to get stung. Yeah. Nice lot of stores in there, a bit of honey. 
We've got a foreigner in here. What have we got in here of Crete and Nevada? What's that, sir? Woodlouse. I think I'd known that been a carpenter, wouldn't you? I would hope so. <laughs> So jokes at a time like this, it's terrifying. Yeah, the little chap is all munching away at it. Like little chappies, they're little girls, aren't they? They're not little chappies. They're all girls. The chappies ain't been hatched yet. No, no men allowed. good honey year. When I phoned old Jeff earlier, you know, to come over and do a bit of filming, he sounded it all keen and then when I said we're doing the bees, he went all quiet. <laughs> is that right Jeff? Uh, it certainly is. <laughs> <laughs> he don't mind than eating a bit of honey though, does he? Oh, 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 Yogi, <laughs> here come the tourists. <laughs> when you see the old professional guys do it, they fly through these. They do a hundred hives a day or more even. I see some fella did 300 hives in a morning or something. I don't understand how they can do that. Go on then, you're caught. Which ones are we going to keep? Which ones are we going to replace? This, this one's already replaced. Oh, okay. So we're keeping these chicks. Yeah. Once you've been stung, they smell the old pheromones because you're an enemy, then. You, you look like an old brown bear, see? Fair bit skinny. <laughs> you can only move them a metre. Right. If you move them any more than a metre, you've got to make it more than three kilometres. <laughs> really? True. Oh. Otherwise, they don't know where their hive is. If you, if you move them three kilometres away, they come out, don't know where they are, reorientate themselves by going around in circles and telling everybody where they are, and then they'll go back to the hive again. But if you move them five metres, they will come back to where they were just now and they don't know what's going on. Yeah. You put that one there, they won't be able to find it. No. Oh. You come out here tonight and there will be a big huddle of bees not in a hive. Now this one is busy, isn't it? Oh, good this bee. Hey, what are you all doing there then, girls? Up at, that's a nice warm spot, that's all. Wow! Jeff's off. Didn't know about that, mate. Right, you all got to go in there. That's where you stay in there for one minute. That's right, that's right. Well, just throwing that much out the front of me. You don't need that. Yeah, there's quite a few in there. You don't need that. Yeah, you got your little buggers. That's the sugar that we give them in the winter. And you can see them all inside there munching away. Everything around here is only good. Might be some fruit on this side of this. Yeah, yeah real, yeah. Well, it might be the queen on there with them all fluffed up like that. It's a brood. A dandelion colour on this end. Pretty. You're not all going to get oh, see how you're not at the last little bit.
Beautiful colour. Can you see the colour of that? Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. When you make all these things, you've all got to have six mil clearance everywhere. That's what bees need to go to. If you make it any more than six mil, they just they close the gap up to six mil and then they glue everything together. But also the prelogs get in if it's more than six mil. That's true as well. Hornets. Hornets. Asiatic. Well, there you go. That's what we have to do in the spring. Uh, we leave them there for a couple of weeks and we should be back. Just check on them and when they need it, we'll put another super on the top. So hopefully if the weather stays nice and they keep bringing the pollen in, they'll make loads of honey and we can get fat. Great. Uh, well, we can include Jeff with that. He can get fat as well. See you later. Bye. Thanks for looking in. And don't forget to give us the thumbs up and subscribe to see all the rest of the nonsense.